everybody. Welcome back to Sand Dog Kayak Adventures. I am Glenn. And I need to say thank you to all you guys, and especially one guy in particular. We'll get to that in a second. So as you guys know, I started putting up a Venmo because people told me to start a Patreon. And I thought that was kind of lame. I figured I'm just going to give everything away, everything I know. And if somebody wants to help out the channel, great. Uh, send a couple of bucks to the channel for me to get a mic or something like that. So when I started this, I really didn't think I was going to get anything, you know, nearly as what I got. Like, so right away I got a bunch of guys that donated 20, 25 bucks. I reached 150 bucks pretty quick, so I got the mic. You might be asking, Glenn, how can I not use the mic? I haven't had time to learn how to use it yet. I have a, I have a few days off. I have a sheep head trip on Sunday, and then I have a few days off where I'm going to start learning how to use this stuff. So then I was like, all right, we got a mic. Thanks so much. I think now I'll start working on a camera. I didn't even know what kind of camera I wanted. Well, I went fishing with a subscriber about a week ago. He said he thought it was really cool that I was just giving away all my information and this and that. He will remain anonymous. He sent us a thousand bucks to get an awesome camera. So now I'm camera shopping to get a badass camera. So hopefully I'm going to be able to get way better footage, be able to zoom, be able to do all kinds of stuff, make the channel way better. I can't thank you all enough, man. It's crazy how much support I got. As soon as I asked for a little support, which is kind of weird, you know what I mean? It's like you go in front of a GoPro and go, hey everybody, if you want to help me out, even though you don't know me. And a lot of you guys did, dude, it's crazy. So I really and truly appreciate it. Every bit of the money that comes in is going to be go to make the channel better. So right now I have a mic. I'm officially camera shopping for another, a different, more badass camera. So the next thing I'm going to do is get a drone. So I'm going to learn how to use the mic, find the camera, buy that, learn how to use that. And then here's the Venmo if you guys want to help me out to get a drone. That's the next thing on the list. I have no idea how much they cost. I haven't done any research on drones. Because honestly, I didn't think stuff like this was going to happen so fast. But all you guys out there in subscriber land are freaking dope, dude. I appreciate it so much. Even just the likes, the comments, the shares, and all that stuff. Like, my channel's doing really good. I've had multiple people doing the fishing thing saying, dude, how are you doing so well? I'm like, dude, it's a subscriber, man. I keep sharing and commenting and making my algorithm go bananas. So I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button and subscribe to the channel. Helps me out so much. Gets me out here making more videos, better content. And I'll keep telling you guys everything I know. Sound like a deal? If you subscribe, I spell my guts. You.
that stanchion, picture a 50-yard perimeter around that stanchion. Now, all over through here is a great, great spot to fish. It goes from like 30, 35 feet up to like 18 right here. So this whole flat is good, but that big stanchion is kind of where the major drop-off starts happening. So if you fish all around it, you're going to fish ledge, and then you're going to fish the peak, and then you'll fish the plateau, and then you'll fish the ledge. You'll be in a lot, a lot of different depths and structures and whatnot. I've caught a lot of big halibut out here, and I don't know if you guys saw the video where I took Kiani out. He caught a 36 or 37 inch, I can't remember, right here next to this stanchion. Everybody with me has their own yaks today, so that's nice. I only had to bring mine. Get to use my rod holder. These guys are totally self-sufficient. Great fishermen. Dennis is a great fisherman. Marie's a great fisherman. So we just hang out together. And I'm basically here in case anything crazy happens. by something that all of a sudden just stuck to the bottom. This is 99% of Halley. Let's see how big. It's still not coming up. Come on up. Oh, he came off. Drop it back down. Son of a... Come on, buddy. Go back and get it. Oh.
came off. I watched it come off. I watched the sucker come off. Damn it. <laughs> I couldn't tell it what it was, but I saw the flash of the fish fly away. <laughs> It's crazy. I can like see the drop off right here now. That's cool. himself a fat spotty bro I thought you were like snagged on the bottom
got something else we need to ID. He's out here fishing more in the middle of the channel, so his variety is opening up a bit. You got a little one? Oh, I'll, yeah, I'll take care of him. <laughs> he won't kill you, but he'll make you sting an inch. <laughs> Let's see. Uh -huh. That's a lizard fish. That's actually a pretty good halibut bait. A lot of guys will catch those and then drop them back down rigged up the same way and go for halibut with those guys. Is that your first lizard fish? <laughs> Marie has herself another sculpin. Put my foot up, you see that? I was like, ta-da! We're doing the scoping thing tonight, tomorrow, or whenever the hell you're doing it. Oh, it's probably All right, I do think the tide just shifted to Your shears are definitely sharper than mine. Oh, got some rollers coming. Yeah. Marie's on. You want to take care of it or you want me to? Okay. He looks like another keeper. <laughs> oh yeah, that's definitely a keeper. If you let a little bit of line out and lift the rod like almost over your head, it brings him right to you. Open. He's doing the old leg spread to put it in the boat <laughs> so it doesn't get him. That makes five sculpting for them, five keepers. I, I think that one's the biggest, is what Marie was saying.
dude, you guys got a lot of fish.
sometimes you'll catch 10 shorts and no keepers. Sometimes 20 spotties and one scope and no halibut. When you're dragging the live bait around, man, it's, it's if there's fish around, something's gonna bite that damn thing. Like I was saying, right in front of the pipe right here. <laughs> Dude, you toss some stuff out with the, in front of the pipe, some of those shrimp at night, something's gonna come. 